Okay, hello everybody. Once again, US Android TV guy. Um, I'm going to make this a quick video, I promise this time. Uh, I'm going to keep it under five minutes. I want to address wonderful da, 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 Super Bowl uh, 52 2018 that is airing on NBC. Um, I don't know if my subscribers, YouTube subscribers, or my customers are completely you know, cable free and have cut the cable. But um, I just wanted to let you know that, you know, I always practice what I preach as I've said in other videos. I am, you know, 100% box, nothing else. And there's a lot of information on the internet about how to watch Super Bowl. Um, and if you Google watch Super Bowl 52 or, fit, or Super Bowl 2018 for free, um, you know, you get a lot of stuff on there, but everything, if you click it and read into it, it says you either got to do a free seven day trial or you have to have a local cable provider so you can, uh, authorize the channel to be streamed and all that. And so you can't really do it for free if you're 100% on boxes and nothing else. So that's what I'm here to address. Um, especially with the Kodi platform, uh, US Android TV customers that watch this video, you'll be able to do exactly what I'm doing and get to it. Um, there are two methods that we have on the US Android TV, uh, dot com box, and I'm going to show you both of those. And everybody else is subscribed that's not a customer, you should either have this app or get this app, um, and or this, this third party application, this Android app, I'm going to show you. And then you will be able to watch the Super Bowl game. So, uh, under our category of sports, you know we have a, a lot of act, a lot of different options. Uh, Pro Sport is the one that we use, and NFL seems to work pretty good on it. Although, you know, with NBC having it this year, they're being very closed, which I don't understand because they make their money off of advertisements. I mean, you know, the advertisers pay millions and millions of dollars for a 30 second spot. So, you know, I don't understand why they wouldn't want everybody to watch it so that, that they can record record highs and get high ratings, but they don't. Uh, if you have a digital TV antenna and you're close enough to a major city to where you can get NBC, that probably is going to be your best option because after all with our boxes we're streaming online and there's a lot of things that factor in like internet speed pings bandwidth i mean a whole bunch of other stuff so here's where we're going to start um and uh, you know if you're a us android tv.com customer it's as easy as this you go to your sports category you go up you go over to nfl you click nfl and there's the game, Eagle and the Patriots, starting at 6.30 p.m. Now, I am posting this way before 6.30 p.m. because, you know, I don't know if it's going to have any sources, and there's no way for me to tell. If I click it, it gives me an error, so it's not going to do anything. Now, if you're one of those people that like, uh, you know, the kitten bowl and the puppy bowl and all that, you know, you can watch it on Animal Planet. There's actually an Android app, Animal Planet HD, and I believe it's free if you want to watch that. But I'm talking about the real sports fans, the, the, you know, not to say that the kitty bowl and the puppy bowl isn't cute. But um, now if you don't have a US Android TV, uh, dot com box, and I'm rambling because I'm trying to look at the time and see that I'm at four minutes already. I'm like, I want to do it in five, but I can't. The thing that you want to do is uh, the Sports Hub. And basically where you're going to find that is, is uh, I believe it, it's under the Super Repo. If you have that installed, you can install from Repository and then go to Super Repo and then look up me, uh, uh, Sports Hub. And that's what it's called. Uh, or it might be referred to as Pro Sport, which is what it used to be called. So excuse me if it's now Sports Hub and nothing else. I mean, I, I've been doing this a long time. Okay, so the second way I want to address real quick, whether you're a usandroidtv.com customer or not, is the second way to watch it, which is the easier way to watch it for anybody that's not a usandroidtv.com customer or that absolutely wants to have, you know, for certain to be able to watch this game. Excuse me for the stuttering. I'm trying to be speedy. Uh, it's the application, um, you know, it's the Android application Magro, which I have many videos on. But here's where it's at, guys. This is where I get it real good for you. I've already looked and checked and verified, and it's going to be on BBC One, the, the, the Super Bowl. So here's how you get to it. It's real simple. If you're in Magro, of course, I can click it right there, but I'm not going to. You go down to Channels, 
and then you click OK. You go down seven clicks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's BBC One, and you click OK. Now, I think there's a soccer game playing right now. No, they've, got, they've moved on to something else. But that basically is it. Um, those are the two ways that you can actually catch the Super Bowl 52 or the 2018 Super Bowl between the Eagles and the Patriots, and you'll be able to watch it, uh, and you'll be able to stream it for free, and you won't have to worry about anything. Because at this point, if you go out to a Walmart or a Target or a Best Buy, I'm sure all those window mount you know, digital antennas are probably all sold out, and unless you live in an area that has the Amazon, uh, you know, drones that drop it off same day delivery, <laughs> then you really don't have any, you know, any recourse. So those are the two ways. I'm going to conclude the video again. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If not, you can give it a thumbs down, but leave a comment as to why you didn't like it so I can improve my videos. I've had comments like, you know, I talk too much or whatever. And I know I do, but I like to give you a lot of information. And if you're not a subscriber, please click that subscribe button right now and hit the notifications because if you look at my YouTube history, I don't post any more than one video a week unless something is coming up. This I haven't posted a video now in two weeks because there really isn't nothing new to report. So, you know, go ahead and subscribe, please. And I, I am humbled and, I, again, I am appreciative of every single subscriber that I have. And I'm always, at this point, able to answer every question directly. So until next time, YouTube land, thank you. And we will uh, see you see soon.